what we're going to find as we work in Photoshop is that we have many ways to do the same thing. And what I want to take a look at right now are the adjustments, but um, a way to work with the different adjustments um, in a way that it's non-destructive and that we can come back and edit the image again and again and again. So in a previous video, I showed you how to access the adjustments through the menu, going to image adjustments, and we see all of these different images. Now, the story is that when we do it this way, though, these changes are permanent. So we have another way to do these as well. And so what we can come and we can do is we can open up our adjustments window. Now, if you do not see your adjustments window, just come to window, make sure that it is tapped. Now, another quick and easy way to access the adjustments window is right down in here on our layer window. We can click right here and we can access it here as well. So um, let's take a look at the levels here. When we come in and we choose the levels, what we're going to find is that in the properties window, the histogram appears in the properties window. And what happens on our layers panel is we have this adjustment layer over top of our image. Um, and we can come on in here and we can work. We can reset again, I'm looking at my black and my white point. And what I'm going to do here is I can see that I really do not have any blacks. So I'm going to come on in, I'm going to move this over and maybe just a little bit, I'll clip just a little bit of this. And there we have it, I can turn. Now what I can do instead is turn this on and off and or I could come on in with a little eyeball on and off. And I can see on my screen is that that actually just gives it a little bit more detail. So I always think the levels is a good place to start. When I look at this properties panel, I could also go back. This image right here is reset it to the default. Um, but I wanna keep that what I have on there. And I think, hey, I like it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, now, the beautiful thing about this is I could choose and do even another adjustment layer. So I could come on in, choose another one, black and white, okay, and I can see that, you know, these different levels are above and on one another. Now, if I want to switch what's in the properties panel, I just need to click right on to that layer and then I will see it. Now there's different places you can click though. So you can, you need to actually click right in um, to the layer. If you click into the white box, you'll see the mask and I'll cover masks in uh, future videos. So there we have it, the adjustments window. Uh, we can access it several different ways and the adjustments are seen as non-destructive editing. You can go back and edit them again and again. Um, and there we have it. Thanks for listening.